Guardians, what's going on? Blue Knight here. Uh, I just got done soloing the birthplace of the vile GM, and I wanted to go over the build I used, and then we're going to do a voiceover and kind of help you through it all, uh, just in case if you wanted to solo it yourself. Um, so, as you see here on the character screen, we are not using player slants. It's not even on my character. Um, so, we're kind of utilizing different things. It might be a little bit slower, but um, we get through it. The end had my heart racing because i fumbled the combo there at the end but we got it done just don't do what i did and we'll go through that in the voice and the voiceover but the two exotics that we're using dragon's breath and phoenix protocol let's go over subclass well of radiance healing rift burst glide celestial fire healing grenade the aspects touch of flame heat rises the fragments we got ember of ashes ember of empyrean ember of searing ember of mercy now I'm gonna, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do every section, every chapter of this video. I'm going to try and give the must-haves or like the nitty-gritty at the very beginning for those of you who don't want an explanation. You just want to see how to do it. And then I'm going to kind of go into depth with some stuff in the subclass and, and perks and weapons and whatnot afterwards. So um, there's all that. Now, go into depth. We need healing. Final boss of this encounter is horrible uh you can just run around and shoot everything that spawns in and then after everything is done spawning in then you can focus the boss i believe that's what i did in the last video i kind of run around run around run around did all that stuff um but i didn't i'm not 100 percent. i don't remember it i i remember after recording the last video me doing it again solo and then doing what i did now so i I believe this is a new method that I kind of not invented, but did the last time that I soloed this. So anyway, uh, plenty of healing ranged melee for weakening combatants, bosses and champions um, because of our of the seasonal artifact healing grenade because healing. Uh, touch of flame because this gives us restoration times two heat rises so that way we can fire weapons melee and throw grenades while gliding uh ember of ashes we want to apply more scorch because our um i almost said player slants our dragon's breath holy guacamole batman uh because dragon's breath is kind of like player slants in a way that it can cause a bunch of ignitions really fast but it's because it is consist consist continuously spreading scorch well if you are spreading more scorch you'll have more ignitions uh ember of ashes is, is kind of i always have this on almost all of my builds because it even applies with incandescent the scorch that you apply with incandescent you apply more of it with this ember of empyrean solar weapon ability final blows extend the duration of restoration radiant um kind of self-explanatory i can splash myself the grenade use dragon's breath or adorative the solar um, pulse rifle that i'm using i can use either of those to take combatants out and it'll keep my restoration radiant going ember of searing defeating scorched targets uh grants uh melee energy and a fire sprite if i did anything different here uh after let's see here where is the one not mm, is it the ignitions with the grenade energy I thought there was another one where final blows the solar super i'll figure it out and we'll yeah we'll figure it out but i ran it with this ember of searing defeating scorch targets grants melee energy and a fire sprite uh fire sprites give us back grenade energy um but also with ember of mercy fire sprites can heal us picking up a fire sprite grants restoration i know it says you know hey when you revive an ally you and other nearby allies grant gain restoration we don't care about that we're doing the solo we only care about picking up the fire sprites and getting restoration why do we care about it that much is because dragon's breath um rockets embed themselves and struck targets and periodically eject incendiary fuel that inflicts scorch more scorch the longer this weapon goes without firing the more fuel the next rocket contains now for the catalyst um this weapon replenishes its fuel faster thus you get to do more damage faster defeating targets with this weapon causes them to periodically periodically drop fire sprites so right there we've got two methods of creating fire sprites and you'll see there's no shortage of fire sprites that i can heal myself with except in the final boss room um that being said let's go over the weapon we've already looked at dragon's breath we're using vengeful whisper 
Now, um, the reason being is because of Seasonal Artifact Torch. When Radiant, you do additional weapon damage to combatants affected by Strand or Stasis debuffs. We are going to be debuffing things uh, with Slice. Um, let's go over Slice real quick. Casting your class ability allows this weapon to sever targets on hit for a brief duration up to a maximum number of targets. What is sever? It, it lowers the output of that combatant's damage. So you take less damage. Uh, and then Precision Instrument. I wish I had like a Slice Explosive Head or something, uh, if that's possible. But Slice Precision Instrument works fine. Um, other honorable mentions, Fel Terror Diddle. You know, I was going to run it with this. I ran it with this last time. The Intrinsic Perk Psycho Hack is just like, um, is just like Slice, except it, um, you have to use a slice you have to use your class ability psycho hack you do not just shoot something twice with the bow and they have less damage output um so i ran it with this other like i said other honorable mentions on honorable mentions fell terror diddle battle scar riptide i was running it with riptide because the slow on chill clip um can stun the overload champions but uh we're kind of doing a lot of stunning with dragon's breath now on to the energy weapon. We did a Dorative. Uh, we crafted it with Heal Clip and Incandescent. This thing is kind of fun. Uh, all of these kills, 152 kills, were from the GM that I just run, that I just ran. Uh, I crafted it, didn't use it, and then now ran it. And so there's that. This thing is so much fun. I've got backup mag on it, so it has more in the magazine. Um, you know, if anything, I might change the backup mag to quick access sling uh, because I'm going to be getting a kill or two and then reloading it anyway because of heal clip. So um, other honorable mentions, epical integration um, or another pulse rifle, the battler um, demo in can is what I run. Absolutely amazing. I love getting grenades back faster. I love throwing a grenade and reloading it. I love the incandescent um, Luna's howl. I was using this. I almost completed it with this, and then uh, I died in the final boss room, but it's it was my fault. Uh, anyway, Luna's Howl, I've got the heel clip incandescent on this with the slide shot, opening shot, very good rolls for PvP, PvE. Um, and then Epical Integration is just a staple. I mean, I've got 17,678 kills with it. I love this hand cannon. Um, and then again, Dragon's Breath, there's the weapons. Let's go over the seasonal artifact. First column, must have. To use a bow and pulse rifle, you need unstoppable bow over an overload pulse rifle. Um, if you're gonna be using the same weapons that I have, use that. If not, use what you want um, or you can use. Second column, uh, must haves, blast radius and kindling trigger. Blast radius, we're actually not doing anything with armor charge. I took the ability for that to, you know, if you want to because um, you're heavy, rocket launcher will it will kill things um you can use this to get armor charges we're just i don't care that much about armor charges right now so um that was going to be on there for the armor charge but we ended up not using it kindling trigger from whence you came there is like everything in here is pretty much scorn so use this your ability uh damage is increased on them and then Kindling Trigger, Radiant causes Solar Weapons to apply Scorch. We apply more Scorch with our subclass. Remember that. Third column, the top one, Flint Striker, must have, 100%. Rapid Solar Weapon, Precision Hits, and Rapid Solar Weapon, Final Blows, Grant Radiant. Um, Radiant just gives us more damage output. Torch, while Radiant, deal increased weapon damage to combatants affected by Strand and Stasis debuffs. We are debuffing them with, st with Strand with Slice on our bow. On the third column, or I'm sorry, the fourth column, must have Revitalizing Blast. This is why we want a ranged melee. Causing damage with a solar ability weakens champions and bosses for a short duration. It says causing damage. Um, all of our other abilities are well, can cause damage, but um, we have to be right up against them. The Healing Grenade doesn't cause damage. Our class ability doesn't cause damage. The only ability that we have that causes damage is our melee. That's why we want it to be ranged. Overload Rocket Launchers. Rocket Launchers are especially effective against Overload Champions. Do use it please this is this we're building around this for this gm this is what we're building around uh and then fifth column raise a precision while radiant solar precision final blows cause combatants to ignite and then solo operative 
we are doing this solo. Let's go over the the armor. Um, wrong button there. First up, I would 100% recommend you getting your resilience to 100. I need to work on armor. I am pumping so much into my resilience that I do have a triple 100 builds, but or even double 100 builds, but I don't, I don't know. This is a fun build. I just want a little bit. I want 100 resilience and 100 recovery, recovery intrinsically if I could. Uh, so I need to lower some discipline. But anyway, I'd get resilience up to 100. Then after that, your discretion. Um, on the helmet, we have harmonic targeting and double heavy ammo finder. Harmonic targeting, so that way our um, solar weapons... Uh, have improved aim down sight speed, accuracy, target acquisition, and then double heavy ammo finder because it says, you know, increases the drop chance of heavy ammo on kill. Primary ammo weapons, especially exotic final blows, help you find ammo more quickly. Multiple copies of this mod increase the ammo gained per drop. So we're just getting more ammo per drop, not a higher chance to get ammo. Um, and that also stacks with the harmonic scavenger on our legs. Onto the gauntlets, we're using double focusing strikes, so it gives us our class ability back. It gives us like 30% of our class ability back when damaging an opponent with a powered melee attack. And then harmonic loader, so that way we reload our um, our solar weapons faster. We're kind of utilizing that on adorative because of heal clip. Onto the chest piece, I highly recommend you run double double arc single void. Yes, there is solar damage not the end of the world i wouldn't you know think too much into it just don't stand still where there's solar damage and we'll go over that in the voiceover onto the legs we're using harmonic scavenger so that way we pick up more ammo for our solar rocket launcher um harmonic holster so that way any solar weapon that we have stowed will reload over time and then i had stasis scavenger on here because i was using riptide um, if I had to change that into, or, or if I had to change that to something, it would either be another harmonic holster or, um, something along those lines. We're only using heavy ammo. We're not using energy ammo. So not the, the biggest thing in the world. Uh, and then let's look at, that was the legs. Let's look at the bond. We've got double bomber. So it reduces your grenade cooldown when using your class ability. Again, that's about 30%. So, you know, it kind of, it's just a little bit more ability regen. Oh, utility kickstart. So I was using orbs. Um, I guess I, I didn't see on the left side, you know, having any armor charge and stuff, but we are using utility kickstarter when your class ability and uh, energy is fully expended, your armor charge is consumed and you gain class ability energy for each armor charge used. Um, I'll have to go back in the voiceover and take a look at that and see how that does. But um, there is the build. I hope it, in, I hope you all, uh, it helps you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And without further ado, let's jump into the voiceover video. All right, here we go. Voiceover time. Um, the volume is going to be a little low here at the beginning, just because my OBS settings were a little bit different. When I load in, you'll see that I kind of like spin around just because I'm trying to get to my other monitor. Um, so just so we know, that's what happened. I'm tabbed out here trying to fix a few things. That's why we're only getting 30 FPS. Anyway, here at the beginning, um, there's going to be an unstop that you wanted to take care of. See, I tried to get the other monitor, had to tab back in. There we go. There's going to be an unstop right up here on the right. What we do is we stun it put a rocket in it, and then deal with other things. Uh, the min-max, I guess, the min-maxing um, thing that you can do here is put a rocket in them, then stun them. It's because the rocket's already there. You're wasting a couple seconds stunning him, then shooting the rocket because the rocket travel time and stuff. Um, if you really want to min-max it, put a rocket in them, then stun them. You'll get the most damage out of it. But here... There's to my left, there's actually like these little barricades that I can dance around and not take any damage from the unstop uh, right there to the left here. But I, fig I figure, you know, hey, he's low enough. We'll get him to a stunnable level and then we'll stun him or we'll finish him. All right. Section one is done on to the, sec the second section. You'll go down here. 
Um, if you have a skimmer, you can use the jump or grind method to get over this. I use the grind and then end the grind, go down here. You wanna get down here pretty fast. Don't put your sparrow or your skimmer in a place that can kill you. It will blow up and kill you. Um, so what I did there is I splashed myself and then I shot a rocket because it's a solar weapon. Solar weapon and ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects applied to you. That's why we're using it. Um, I believe one of the overload chieftains fell off the map, but we got some damage. Yeah, see, so those oh, there's two overload chief chieftains that just died there. Whether or not one fell off the map or not, I'm not sure, but they got taken out. Don't expect everything to go your way the same way that it's going for me in this video. I got lucky in a lot of these parts, or in a few of these parts. Uh, this next area, there's going to be an unstop, as you can see. I put a rocket in them, let the ignition stun them, um, and just try and focus on some other things. This build is going to be a little bit more slow because I don't want to just spam rockets all the time. Hindsight's 2020. I did end up having plenty of heavy ammo until the very final phase of the final boss. Um, but I had plenty of ammo through here. I also realized that maybe I should have targeting adjuster on the bow instead of like boss spec or something just because um, it would help me hit these headshots or help me hit the precision shots on some of these combatants but anyway we're gonna go ahead and take out this unstop real quick there's gonna be a few cuts I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now there's gonna be a few cuts in this um, video because a few parts are just really long and boring and I'll tell you what I do and then I'll cut to the end of that section because there's no sense in you guys having to sit through it. So right now there's a boss and two raiders. Be careful of the raiders. They have these scorn crossbows that shoot void shots. They are the reason why we are using one void damage resistance mod. They cannot one shot you if you have one void damage resistance mod on. Here we go. Um, I mean, there were like three or four ignitions just from one heavy rocket shot so now we're good once you see the new objective in the top light in the top left pop up that means that you have taken out everything and you're good to go all right this room we're gonna do it the easy way there's two ways easy way and the not so easy way the easy way is we're gonna run on the plate then back up to this area right here we're not gonna leave this area this is what we're gonna do the hard part the hard way or the not so easy way you well on the plate and just try and kill everything as fast as you can. I don't feel like dying to a bunch of screebs jumping on me at once, so we back up here. This part I will fast forward um, because it's without it being fast forwarded, it's like two and a half minutes of us just sitting here shooting stuff. Um, we get low a couple times because of those grenades and because of this right here, but remember we have heal clip. And that's why adorative, I don't like the way it looks. But I like the way it functions. So function over, um, what is it? The function over form? Yeah, there we go. I'd rather have the function of this than the form. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to fast forward it here. And I'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, here we go. You know everything is done spawning in when you don't hear that weird spawn-in sound that, 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 they, that they make. Um, but anyway, once you, everything has been taken out, you can kind of come in this room, look around, make sure you don't see anything. Um, as you can see here, I have plenty of ammo. Should have used a little bit more. I also get uh, surprised here. Make sure you clear the room before you get too comfortable. Because there are two Scorn behind that right pillar right in front of me. Or that right obelisk thing. And I don't see them. They're not attacking me. I see them here, though. Uh, luckily, I got some Scorch on that guy and was able to see where he was going. But yeah, just hindsight's twenty twenty. Clear the room before you get too comfortable. This section. Don't go out there yet. There's five things on this little platform. 
Make sure you take out all five things. Uh, there's three for me. And then I get hit in the face with that guy. I almost die again. See? There were some close calls. Four or five. All right. The unstop. There's one right in front of you when you get to this area. You can sit in this corner. Like you'll see, I get in this corner. I'll turn around and show you. In this little corner here. You can, what you should do is just fire the rocket, reload, and fire another rocket. I don't, but I get lucky that he doesn't move. So I decide here, I'm like, oh, I'm going to shoot the bow. Oh, the bow's not doing as much damage as I thought it would. Oh, I also need to reload my rocket still. I got lucky there, was able to take them out. Once you take out that champion, though, all of the guys will just retreat. So it's up to you. You can take out the champion or those guys, but here's the caveat. The, if you take out the champion, those guys will leave. If you take out those guys, the champion will go to the middle up there where the unstop is. And I don't want to fight two champions in close quarters. So I'd rather deal with the orange bars than with the yellow bar champion or the orange bar champion, whatever it is. I barely missed the bow there or the shot there on the rocket launcher. Um, I know there's plenty of ammo in the back room, but I'm sitting there thinking, I was like, man, I really don't want to go get that ammo. So I got to make this stuff count. That was a good land on that rocket here. Again, what I did is I land the rocket then stun. So that way I don't have to worry about it too much. It does more damage is what I, is something I should say. Um, you can see here we do anywhere from 8k to 8,600 per shot with the precision instrument. So precision instruments fun, but I believe explosive head because it explodes twice and does like almost 20 K a shot. I believe I'm going to look at getting, or just next time using a bow with precision or with uh, explosive head. This is another part. That's going to be a little slow. We just want to take out, um, this champion without, you know, having any issues i get complacent again and i jump up on the platform and get rushed by three things almost die but again do as i say not as i do i know that's um what a lot of people do but just i'll jump up here i'm like hey we're good i see one person oh no he turned invisible oh no he's pushing so i shot a rocket thinking that it would do something there it does uh, it takes out two of the three and then I see that that guy's immune. So I know that he turned invisible and ran away uh, And there we go. Everything's taken out. Luckily the two guys that got taken out by the rocket spawned heavy bricks So didn't have to go back and get any more heavy here in a little bit. I reply to a text message <laughs> I realized that I have stasis scavenger on my legs again And I was like hey and, and you know, I just have to go over that when I do the build part so and I went over it uh, here in a second, I have to answer a text. My daughter sent me a text, so I was replying back to it. Um, so we'll see that. This part, though, just a running sim. Just run through it. Here's the text message part. This next little room is a red room. After that, there's a door that opens with, staircase, with a long staircase to the left. Uh, an energy door will open, and a bunch of scorn will come out. I like to fire my rocket launcher at that, which you can see here. Um, all right, this part will go out, shoot a rocket before the door. I'm floating, so the rocket actually ends up hitting the door frame instead of where I was aiming, but it works. Everything gets taken out. Um, there's like six things that, that push you there. Let's well here, and then first thing first, take out the champion. Focus the champion. There we go. Boom, there's that. I do this to slice them, do a little bit more weapon damage. And then here, I'll put a rocket into him to take care of those two guys super close. And then start using a dorative. One thing, uh, so I can't, let me know in the comments below what you think is the most annoying combatant in Destiny. And it's a toss up for me between the, hmm, the overload. Is it in this one? The overloads in this one that can... Yeah, it's the overload chieftains that can put up the, the towers, the, you know, uh, immortality totems. That. 
and um, between that and the Lurkers. I strongly dislike the Lurkers because they have those little metal shields that do way too much for them. Hey, you want to stop an energy ammo fusion shot with a little shield? Do it. You know, it's just... It's annoying. Anyway. Stay safe in this room. Just clear it out one by one. Everything will be taken out. You'll know everything will be taken out when that marker above the corruption pops up. I remember seeing a heavy brick over here. So I'm like, hey, I used some heavy. Go ahead and get it. As you can see, we're getting like all of our ammo back super fast. I thought I could pick up that fire sprite and still clear the corruption. Could not. So it canceled. This room, there's a bunch of screebs. Back up. Most important. Sit back. Let the screebs push you. I decide to reload because I don't see that scrape on the left. The room goes pretty far back. I turn around. I'm like, hey, I still had a little bit of room to back up there. So just remember that. There we go. We use adorative to take out the combatants close to us. All right. Now we can sit right on top of these stairs and use our bow and just plink these raiders get them you know get them gone because those are the only things that can hurt you while you're jumping across those those like stepping stones so i jump on the outside ones i'll go to the second one it spawns a bunch of stuff in and i back up the reason being is because both of these raiders shooting at you will more than likely kill you in two seconds so instead of being reactive i'd be proactive start it back up just the smartest thing to do here i know there's a bunch of screebs that you can't see because they like phase through the stairs um you'll see that here in a little bit i'll double jump and you'll see a bunch of screebs and that screeb right there just went into the ground just so we're all aware of that uh it's i don't know something to do with screebs and stairs i just don't mess with it i back up and because they're not going to jump to these platforms just shoot them uh they'll hide like they are now uh, as you can see i decided to reload there or i needed to reload not 100 percent sure but all right here we go i'm waiting for the screebs to spawn from above us there it, i guess that already happened because it didn't happen this time there is a heavy brick there any ammo that you generate in this room will stay in this room and you can re-pick it up when you go fight the boss so yes i have nine shots i could use one of the rockets on this overload and then pick up one rocket from that heavy ammo uh, brick but i don't want to do that i want to save it um, because we do come back through this room in the final boss fight so why not save ammo We've got full now. We don't need to use it. We can just use our pulse rifle here just to continuously take out the, the overload. Um, I use my melee on it so that way it will, you know, it becomes weakened. We do more damage to it. There we go. All right. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to remember what this next part is. I just ran it. Oh, okay. So uh, this next room, double overstop room. Don't go in there. Stay in, this, stay in this hallway. Just stay here. Again, unless you want to use a bunch of heavy ammo, I stun, then rocket, because there's a bunch of little things around the unstops that spawn in too, so the rockets can do add clear as well as, you know, champion damage. Definitely should have targeting adjuster on here instead of boss spec. I'm not sure how much the boss spec damage is, but... Uh, it just, I'd rather hit a headshot than not hit a headshot, especially with the bow. Cause I think when they're stunned, it's the difference. Yeah. It's, it's like a difference between 8,600 damage and 2k if you crit or not. So yeah, 2,600. That was, that's a crit non stun though. Stun that champion so he can't push me on the left. Put a little bit more damage in this guy. Again, like I said, this is a slow crawl method, but it's safe, in my opinion. 
Again, I hear the unstop on the left coming up. I stun him, and then I see that he is finishable. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to wait a second. Or he's not finishable quite yet. He becomes finishable. I see that dot pop up. I'm like, hey, I'm going to do it. Be careful doing this. I almost die here. I splashed myself. Um, I thought I was almost going to die, so I splashed myself. Did not die, but, you know with the unstop and you'll see after we take out the unstop you'll see how many people are down in that little i don't know that drop off area um you'll see that i got lucky and that they didn't push me when i was finishing that unstop hindsight being 2020 i generate a lot of heavy ammo in this room so to save time i could just use the heavy ammo but i don't like using the heavy ammo and hoping that there will be heavy ammo for the boss room. Especially in this, this isn't uh, like the... Well, I mean, we're not using Polaris Lance. I'll just flat out say it. We're not using Polaris Lance in this build, so we have to min-max a little bit more. Polaris Lance is just so overpowered that it doesn't matter what you're fighting unless it's um, overload champs because Unstop and Barrier both get affected by polaris lance this season i saw that there were at least two things there so i wanted to back up i saw that there were another two things there i hear something spawn in or not spawn in but uncloak to my left so i go for it luckily i jumped up here didn't mean to jump up there but we got it done those lurkers and their shields the reason why my shots, even if you're radiant, the reason why a lot of your shots don't go through it is, as you can see on the bottom left, you see how both my pulse rifle and my rocket are for unstop or are for overload and the bow is for unstop. Those, the perks given to weapons from the seasonal artifact overwrite radiant. So you can't be anti-barrier and overload at the same time. Uh, first plate we do is the lower left plate. We're going to stand on it. We're not going to well super, super quick because we want it to last. All right, stuff has spawned in now. I'm going to well. Um, that first grenade or that first rocket that I launched only got a few things. I'm waiting for this guy to spawn in. Then I'm going to put a rocket in him. Lucky he gets taken out there pretty quick. I'm looking around. I'm like, all right, what else is there? You got to keep your head on a swivel because these screebs... They come in packs of three or four like that. They will hurt you. I leave the circle, get back in it, um, because I know I can tank one Screeb shot in the well. I cannot tank two. There are still things that, uh, that are here that have spawned in. Just back up. You can take them out from a distance. Okay, everything's been taken out. On our way to the second plate, I stop by, pick up some ammo. Like I said before, hindsight's 2020. Could use my heavy a little bit more at the beginning to shave off a couple minutes on time, but not necessary. We get the completion. That's the big thing that matters. I tab out here. Um, I was watching Dashboard stream, so I muted him. Um, Dashboard is a, is a, a previous SPL Smite Pro League player very good very informative small chat so he talks to people i absolutely love it here just take out two uh you know take out the things that spawn on the first spot with one rocket take out the things that spawn on the second with the second rocket i could have used the third rocket to take out that guy uh, but i saw that there were a bunch of screebs pushing me so i got a little scared not gonna lie all right, so that's done, and I'm debating here. Do I leave, or do I go get the ammo? I see the ammo there, but I also see the Screeb. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to get the ammo. I'm going to take everything out. Notice that that thing dropped heavy ammo. I was like, all right, seven rounds. Do I still need to get ammo? Why not? We're not coming, but you don't come back to this room. So use it or lose it. And I decided to use it. 
That chieftain took a lot of damage from Scorch and the Ignitions and stuff. Uh, stupid Lurker with the shield. I can't stand those. And with the with the aim assistance on the weapons, it aims for center mass or head a bunch of the times. So if you're not directly on their head, it, they'll just the bullets will magnetize the shield because it's center mass for them. All right, here we go. This next room. Unstop. Bunch of other things that spawn in. I rocket and use my melee. We just want stuff to explode with the ignitions. There's that. Oh, I don't use my melee yet. Oh, I do use my melee. Okay. I wanted to go ahead and stun the or uh, weaken the unstop. Uh, this wraith comes to say hi. I back up. Seeing that he's just standing there on the right from the damage numbers, I decide to get the bow out and come over here and pop him. Um, here, because we were radiant there, we're doing almost 2k more a shot. So, here again, another stun spot. We'll jump up here. Pew, pew, pew. There we go. I love that new finisher. I just recently got it, and it's so much fun to use. I Every time I finish somebody, I'm magic missile. So... All right, this is another room that you will come back to in the boss room. So any ammo that you find here, leave it here if you're full. I'm seven out of nine rockets. I leave some ammo. This is the last room you'll come to as well. So if you need ammo for the final phase of the final boss, make sure you find ammo here. Um, you can take out both things on both sides. Those corrupted ravagers, let me talk about them for a second. They are stasis. Watch this guy. Well, I think I take him out before he hits me. No. All right. So you see how I jump there? They're melee. If they can't reach you, they're not going to hurt you. So if you get pushed, be diligent. Listen for them. They'll make the chain sound. If you hear them, jump. They won't hurt you. They can't hurt you. You're in the air. Um, one thing that I've learned is that. So there, I take out the first plate. Didn't spawn any ammo. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to take too much time. I'm okay on ammo. Let's just get this done with. Again, the lurkers with the shields. Extremely, extremely annoying. But, hey, you know. Not impossible. I thought for some reason that there was some heavy ammo that, that dropped off. So I'm going over to the each side and looking. And I was sitting there thinking to myself. I was like, man, this would be the time to have shoot to loot. It wasn't. I didn't drop anything there. You can see ammo. Like, there is a floor in this room. So, if you drop ammo down there, you can use shoot to loot. Look at that Look at that, magne that magnetization. Did it not just hit them in the shield when I was aiming at his toes? Again. I missed that one. Again. Just unfortunate. Uh, that rocket's there. I decide to leave it. I push forward here. I'm like, all right, I've got ammo. There's ammo there. Cool. I'll just go ahead and pick up. Just kidding. I don't pick up that ammo. I thought I picked up that ammo. I think the champion drops ammo here, if I'm not mistaken. That guy, I was like, you know what? He's got the shield. I don't care about him. This guy drops ammo. I do remember that. That, the chain noise. See? He sneaks up on you. I was like, where the heck did this guy come from? Um, anyway, picked up. He dropped a heavy brick as well. Picked it up. This guy, we are just going to take out with the rocket because there are two bricks behind me and there's one brick on the far left. Um, no, this next room is not boss phase or is not boss fight, so we don't need 100% rocket, but I don't want to just absolutely waste them and not have any rockets. I spend a little bit of time here. I'm like, oh, I'm going to take out these guys, and I, I see that he's hiding. I'm like, eh, there's a heavy brick there already. There's two on the right. I'm good. This room, do not go in it. Don't go in it. You see me? I go down, start stuff, back up. There are these stasis guys, these ravagers that'll push you. They'll freeze you and they'll kill you. After you take them out, nothing else will come in the room. Those are the only things that will come into the room. So you, if, if sorry, those are the only things that'll come in the room if you're on the stairs. If you're on the ground, like the, the if you're on the same level as them, they'll come in the room. 
Um, but I decide to not let that happen and back up. Try and take that guy out. Let's try and take that stalker out. There we go. Let's hit the chieftain. Let's stun him. I get a rocket in him just because I cannot stand this room. There are two overload chieftains. And it seems like both of them will put up alternating turrets. So, like, one tur one will put up a turret. When it goes down, the other one will put up a turret. And when it goes down, the other one will put up a turret. So, it's just extremely annoying to deal with. So, that way we... That's why we used our heavy there to try and take them out as fast as possible. Guy on the left's taken out. We'll go ahead and put a rocket in the guy on the right. I'm sitting here thinking, alright, this next... This next area has a lot of mobs... Um, but also quite a few, like four bosses, what I call bosses, mini bosses. So I'm like, you know what? I should be able to get a bunch of ammo back. Why not go ahead and use it? Luckily there, we made a heavy brick in that room and we're back to full. This area, I go down the ramp a little bit and then I well, and then I use my rocket because it just takes everything out super fast in the area. I accidentally hit escape there. Didn't mean to do that. doing whatever damage I can while I have time in the Well of Radiance. That pops up. I was like, you know what? I don't want any of that smoke. I'm going to back up. Psycho Hack is definitely, I think, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with Slice. But if your class ability is on cooldown, like mine is a lot, then just don't use it. I'm, again, looking for ammo. No idea why. I don't have shoot to loot. Take out some of those guys. All right, now, here. This is another part that I am going to skip. Um, there's a boss down low that you see that guy that... Nikoix, N-A-K-O-I-X, Nikoix. Um, I end up taking him out with another rocket or two. And then I take out the champions with my bow. It takes a while. Therefore, I am going to cut this section. So I'll see you right before we take out the last thing here. Okay, here, you saw me use that rocket. Um, I used it because I saw that there were two heavy bricks here. We're going into the final boss room with plenty of heavy ammo. With full heavy ammo, actually. There was another brick right there to the left. So um, that took a long time, but, you know, hey, I just it's the safest way to do it. This room, we're going to clear the corruption. We're going to go top left, and then we're going to well and take out the champion. This is when hitting combos is key. So what we're going to do is we're going to rocket well. I heard myself stun the champion. I'm going to go ahead and put another rocket into the champion and then focus, focus the boss. There's our slice. So now we do more damage. We do more weapon damage while Radiant. We're standing in a well of Radiance. So we do more damage to combatants affected with Strand or Stasis debuffs. Um, that is what we were doing. I was hopefully, I was trying to get it to proc again. Uh, there's a bunch of things around me, so I want to take a few of them out. This is when it gets kind of hectic. So you see here, I didn't exactly take him out there. So I'm going to run around. As long as you run perpendicularly... I, don't, I think that's the word. As long as you run perpendicular to all the the baddie, the 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 you know the bad guys in this room, um, I would say that you're fine. And you'll see here, I'm running perpendicular. Yes, I'm getting hit. I'm getting chased by a lot of things. But yes, I'm getting hit, and it's not the end of the world. I put I took a rocket, threw it at that guy. I was like, I need to send him. So we sent him uh, by shooting the rocket and then destroying the totem. Now, back again, back to this room. Remember, we created that heavy brick. It's still going to be there. I remember all the screebs as well, so we're going to stay back right as soon as we come in here. The Scorch was fortunate. Uh, fortunately, the Scorch took it out. More raiders. Same thing as the first one. We're just kind of taking everything out from a distance with our bow slash pulse rifle. Now that everything is taken out, we're going to move forward. We're going to jump across, start it, and then back up. We'll first take out these raiders, then jump across, start it back up. 
There's another heavy brick. Fortunate to have that. There we go. All right. So we're going to start it and then back up. I was like, hey, I'm going to stay here and challenge those guys. Not a good idea. They can shoot at you there, but they can't shoot at you back here. And it's not like you care because you have a bow. There we go. All right. Now, again, be careful of, of all of the screebs. They will hide in the floor. So I jump here. I'm like, all right. I see a bunch. See a bunch of them coming. Decide to back up. Saw that Screeb fall from the sky, so I'm like, hey, all right, that's all the Screebs that are going to spawn in in this room. I just need to take everything out now. There we go. All right, now, same thing, this guy. I just picked up both of those heavy bricks for six ammo. I know there's not another heavy brick in this room. So I'm just going to sit here and use, the, use my pulse rifle to take this guy out. Again, yes, it does take a while. But this is the safest, easiest way, in my opinion, to get all this done. You want to make sure that you have plenty of heavy ammo. Unless you're running this with friends, then it's not as big of a deal. But if you are going to try and solo this, you need as much heavy ammo for the final boss room. Keep shooting them. Like I said, I know this takes a while, but you know what? We don't die, and we get the completion. So that is the only thing that matters. There we go. Taken out. Did not drop heavy ammo, unfortunately. Um, I have a bunch of exotic engrams uh, that I need to decode. All right, here we go. This uh, The second phase. I go up here to the right because the unstop can spawn either up here top right or in bottom right. Um, but I go top right, go ahead and take him out. This is a great damage phase, in my opinion. We get the slice on him, we reproc it, we reproc it again, then we hit that, we shoot the rocket launcher, and then we miss it. I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just missed that rocket launcher, that rocket shot, and that. Then I realized, hey, I've got a few seconds left on well, I need to get some damage off on this guy again. I'm just getting absolutely bullied by everything, but we get that last rocket off and we send them. All right, here, I remember that there are like two heavy bricks on the right, so I just decide to go right. I don't even try to go left. The reason why I come back left here is because of those corrupted ravagers, the void, these guys. Um, it's easy to fight them up here on this flat level than fighting them on an uneven surface where their crit shot their crit spot is below the floor or below where you can see it so try and have them push you remember they're there they are melee they are going to push you unless you know they just don't that guy didn't but he walked off the map so that's fine another heavy brick i'm starting to get excited here i'm like man i have plenty of heavy ammo for the final boss room which you're right i did and then I whiffed a bunch, which you'll see. I'd say this is a more realistic run. We're not speedrunning this, but we're also messing up a bunch. So, like, it's... Yeah, this is a more realistic approach to this GM, in my opinion. I'm trying to look for those other Freezy boys. Didn't see them. So I was like, all right, we're going to go ahead and start working on these guys in front of us. That hit the shield. That hit his head. That hit his knee. Jump across here. There's a heavy brick there. I go ahead and do that. I see this finishable. I'm like, hey, new finisher, magic missile. All right, we are full on heavy ammo. That's why I'm not even looking at the heavy ammo or the people over there on the left. I'm trying to look for those corrupted ravagers. Don't see them. Here, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the rocket because I know that there is a, I know that there is a heavy brick over there on the left. I realized that this guy dropped heavy, so I'm like, you know what? Oh well. All right, here we go. Last phase. I see that they're spawning on the right. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy right here. Boom, overload is right next to us. Perfect. 
the thing is what you want to do overload then boss or champion then boss i missed that hit that was able to get the rocket off so far so good get them weaken off once the slice gets removed i see that there's a lot of stuff so i'm like you know what i need to get this rocket off and go i missed that rocket though now I'm using the rocket just kind of all willy-nilly uh, to try and take out the ads. I see there, I missed that rocket. That is what really put me almost six feet under, to be 100% honest. Because I didn't stun him there with the ignitions, he was able to, to move and put up a totem. Now I'm scrambling. I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and get this damage out. I don't want to die. And then I hear stuff spawning in behind me. I'm like, all right, we're good. We have well. He's invis He's invincible. There's a bunch of stuff behind me. And they're the, f the slowly freezy boys. I'm like, all right, I have to stay here until they all hit me. Did they hit me? Yes. All right, boss is on the left. I have to go right. And here's where I say, as long as you're running perpendicular to stuff, you should be okay. Because not a lot, like a lot of things are shooting at me, but they're not hitting me. I don't care too much about those guys that are chasing me with the, whatchamacallit, with the uh, freeze things because they're melee, they're slow. I was like, you know what? I have a little bit of time here. Oh, wait, just kidding. I don't. There's a totem that I didn't shoot. I'm just trying to get off damage on some of these things so that way I can uh, get my precision instrument going and proc some damage again those invis those invulnerability totems i'm like hey i can damage him again just kidding another totem another totem oh my gosh dude i am i'm like dude i'm gonna die like i am not gonna be able to finish this look at how low his health is this is gonna be an upset again invulnerability totem i'm like all right i have nothing luckily i had a grenade there because I was 100% dead. I don't know how the boss didn't take me out there. Keep running around. Hey, guess what? Another shield. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Don't stand still. I know darkness is encroaching. Don't care about that. You don't get any spawns anyway when you're doing the solo. Again, totem. I have the worst timing when trying to time out his totems. I get a good hit on him there. Literally one HP. Like, he can be sneezed on and taken out. But don't worry. He's immune. I got to go up. I'm like, all right, hold on. Let's go up and over. There's stuff all over me here. Let's try and hit him. Immune. Take out that. Doesn't hit it because it hits. It magnetizes to everything else around it. I'm like, all right, where's the boss? He's over there on the left. He did spawn in a totem, though, because I saw it. And he has a shield. He walked out of the LOS of it. That last shot finally got him. There we go. GM complete. Um, what could I have done different there? Uh, just hit my shots. To be 100% honest, just hit those rockets. Hit the shots. Not the best roll on the undercurrent. I already have a very good roll. Led from gold bolt shot with, a with the reload speed masterwork. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and share the video with anybody else that's trying to do this. I thank you all very much, and I'll see you all in the next one.